go, dude. The mosquitoes are bad. Today is the Saturday before opening season here in New York. I'm gonna try to get Justin his first bird in a long time. We're up at this property that there's been birds like crazy for the last two or three years. And I haven't hunted it for turkey. Just letting the population get back and let the jigs grow up, let the gobblers grow up a little bit. And uh, it seemed to have worked. There's not many people that hunt this side of the road. The other side of the road, there's quite a few hunters, but we're going to try to roost these birds a little bit. I'm going to give a couple soft yelps with this. I got the owl hoot with me as well. Hopefully we can hear a couple gobbles. Hopefully we can hear them fly up. and uh, We'll make a game plan for tomorrow. But it's really crunchy out here. These leaves are super crunchy. The mosquitoes are brutal. So we're going to have to use some spray tomorrow. But... Um, yeah, we're going to stick it out. It's about 7.45 right now. Sunset's about 8.15, so we should we should hear them getting ready to roost here soon. About another 45 minutes. So, as always, stick with us, stay tuned, and stay hooked. I wasn't rolling, but they're right where I thought they would be. I just did a nice little yelp sequence and they exploded. I'm gonna do it one more time and I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Hopefully you guys can hear it. There's a ton of birds here. Justin's posted up on that tree right there. We got one decoy sitting right there and another sitting right there. Those birds are over there. Hopefully, they'll fly down right here, walk over this way, and there's a field right behind us. So hopefully they play the script well. Guys, this is gonna be an awesome hunt. I'm hoping they do exactly what we're thinking here. I really wanna get Justin his first bird for a long time, since he was probably like 13. There's like six or seven gobblers. I got my gun here too, just in case. So, uh, after he shoots, I might pull up quick, but we'll see what happens. They should be flying down here soon. Let's go. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, sh there's a coyote. Just go. 
they flew down. There was probably three or four hens roasted with these gobblers. They flew down and they all went the other way. There's one more hen that's kind of close to us. I don't know if she got broke off the back or what, but it's just the way it goes. We might might try to chase on them in a little bit, but they were, they were dead set on going the opposite way, so we'll see what happens. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Go ahead, take that first one. Take the left one. Left one. That's what I'm talking about, Justin. 
That's cool, baby. Yes! Look at me, bud. Let's go. Let's go, Justin. I don't even care to shoot one. <laughs> Let's, go, Let's go, dude. Let's go. It's a Jake, but we're good. You dirt napped him, bud. You dirt napped him. Fuck, baby. Tell us what happened, bud. Came walking in, heard him gobbling away. Put the sight down. We thought they went down the backside. We think they went. Got a little drink of water. <laughs> and they came cutting across. They must have been. They must have been roosted on the other side of this creek, and flew down and then popped up over this ridge right next to us. I honestly didn't see them until uh, Justin kept staring over to the left. It was. It was insane. That was a quick hunt. Yes, it's a Jake. Everyone's like, "Ah, oh, you shot a Jake. Big deal." Justin hasn't shot a bird in 10 years. They read the script. It was fun. Uh, get your hands on that bird, bud. All right, Justin. Are you pretty pumped or what? I'm pumped. This is awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, it's just a Jake. But um, when they read the script that perfect, pop over that hill, all four of them. Got to make it done. Pretty hard not to shoot, right? Hey, man. And what do we have to do the rest of the day? Walleye fish. Opening day. <laughs> we got opening day of walleye. What time is it? I told you if you if we killed one, it'd be within half hour, forty five minutes of them flying down. It's gotta be before. It's six twenty three, dude. It's six twenty three. That was awesome. <laughs> oh hell yeah. Yeah, that's a nice bird, dude. I mean when they read the script like that, like I said, I mean, there's nothing you can do but shoot them. Hell yeah, let's pack up and get out of here. Justin, what just happened there? So, uh, we just started, we just started picking up the bird, started dragging it away, and uh, right, literally, underneath the wing here was the shed. <laughs> uh, can't, can't make this up. But. It was stuck in the bird. Literally just right like there. that. <laughs> Crazy. Let's go. Time to catch some water. Yep. Well, guys, just got back home. Justin's going home to breast out the bird. That was an awesome hunt. A couple things happened. First of all, a coyote came in right under where they were roosted, kind of hung out right where we were for a little while, and we I think that's the reason the gobblers went the other way. So there's two mature birds, four jakes. The two mature birds flew down with the hens and went completely opposite direction of us. And the jakes went down into the creek, came up right on the ridge, and as you saw, Justin got the job done. Awesome hunt. Couldn't have been any more perfect. They read the script perfect. Justin was pumped. Got him his first bird in a long time. So. I hope you guys like this video of Hooked on Fishing. As always, stay tuned. Stay up.